Follow me on Twitter. Do I just sit back here now? Ooh, Cher, I love the sporty look today. Hi. Wait, 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 wait. Who wrote this? Why am I the one who's always gay? Ah. Guys, please, it's enough, all right. <laughs> Welcome to another episode of The Eric Show. Look at me, I'm actually doing it every week. Episode seven. He's actually doing it. Who can tell me what Wu-Tang song it is? Boom, da, boom, da, boom, da, boom, da, boom. This light in my face, it's a bright. If he would have used that for his slogan, he would have been president for 12 years. Vote for me if you smell what Barack is cooking. All right, guys, that's enough fucking around. Let's be serious here. We do have a great show for you guys today, but first, we have to take a short commercial break. We'll be right back. I like yodels. Welcome back to The Eric Show. Today, we're going to start things off with a segment called Why You Suck. Why You Suck. Okay, on this week's Why You Suck, we will be talking about why guys start fights at clubs. And I don't even think these guys are trying to have fun. It looks like they came to the club to start a fight. We all know that these guys suck, but I recently discovered why they suck. Let me elaborate. I live here in Staten Island, New York, where every guy looks like they were made in a factory and just got spit out of a conveyor belt. It's actually kind of scary. I don't know, do they have a meeting? How do they know to get the exact same thing? So when you walk into a club or a party or a bar, you spent a lot of money on your clothes, you got a haircut 20 minutes ago, it took you at least five minutes to pick out a tribal tattoo they had on the wall. You're feeling kind of good, but you walk into the place and literally every guy that's in there is the same height as you, they're wearing the same clothes, they have the same exact haircut, the fade with the like the slim shady length on top. These guys aren't really individuals. They don't have their own characteristics that make them stand out. Unless you're talking about the Giants or the Jets, they really don't have anything to talk to you about. So how do they get attention? The first kid that walks by and grazes his arm. Come on, motherfucker, I'm right here! And for these dumb kids, sadly, even though they didn't hook up with anybody, they didn't even get a girl's number, they at least have a story from the night. It's like, yeah, bro, it was a good night. You got dressed, got kicked out within 20 minutes, but that was your night. And the dumb girls and their crew just eat that shit up. Like, we can't have one free drama night. This has to happen to me. That's why you suck. This week's movie is John Tucker Must Die. I saw this movie like three years ago on a Saturday afternoon. It was on After True Lies, which is a great movie. So I just sat there and watched it. And my stomach was in pain by how funny it was. We have to talk about this movie. I'm gonna watch the clips on my laptop and I'll put them right over here so you guys can see. Please just try to ignore the subtitles. They're like in a different language. I couldn't get another version, so just, just try to ignore them. Okay, so if you haven't seen this movie, John Tucker is the most popular guy in school. He's the star basketball player. He dates all the girls in the school. His ex-girlfriends, three of his ex-girlfriends, um, take in this new girl and they form a plot to like destroy him. Kind of like Mean Girls, just nowhere near as good. Okay, so the first clip is very confusing for me. I'll let it play. I don't know why she's in chem class, it looks like. She has glasses on. And all of a sudden, John Mayer just shows up. I don't know why he's in this movie. Um, he wasn't credited, which is the strange thing. Okay, hold on. I just want to say something real quick to the writers and the directors in Hollywood. Have you ever been in a high school? What high school in the world that you know is full of 28 to 35-year-old people? Which brings me to this. Four hot 26-year-old girls... <laughs> on like a on like a Saturday night playing video games, skateboarding video games. What what world do you live in? Where the f where does that happen? Okay, now this scene right here. This may this may be the greatest piece of footage in film history. I mean, I've believed that Arnold Schwarzenegger was a robot, and I was like, wow, that's pretty crazy. But this was no one can. This is ridiculous. He proceeds to do this. This 17-year-old kid just did a flip like they do at the halftime shows. He did a flip that is so impossible, and he just did it, and his friends were like, oh, man, that was pretty dope. Let's go back to practice. No, 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 no. They'd be like, how the fuck did you do that? He'd be on the news. He'd be in the NBA. Look what he just did. They actually tried to make this. I guess their audience was girls, and the girls were like, oh, my God, that's pretty good. Look at, he, look at this. A flip. A fucking flip. A front flip in, into a dunk. And look at his friends. Oh! Now we get to John Tucker's big birthday soiree. I guess it's like his 18th par birthday party, right? Look at this party. <laughs> 
first of all, there's like 4,000 people there. It's in like a warehouse. There's a stage and a band. Every high school party I've ever been to has been some kind of generic looking house with a table for beer pong. There's a PA system. Right, there's a microphone. I lie. I pretend I'm whatever I need to to get girls. By now, someone would have yelled, No one gives a shit, turn the music back on. Dear Eric, let's retweet. Okay, our first tweet comes from Manuela at Manny Fresh. She writes, My night went from crying to laughing. Thank you, Eric D'Alessandro. Your videos are amazing. Thanks, Manuela. Keep watching. <laughs> our next tweet comes from Joe Albano. He writes, fuck you, read that on The Eric Show. And if you don't know, Joe has a Twitter account, and his only other tweet from like a year ago is also, fuck you, Eric D'Alessandro. <laughs> Maria Fernanda at Marie Fur 738 she writes, well, she quotes the last video saying, the Yankees are everything that's wrong with the world. And with that line alone, Eric D'Alessandro won my heart. I will now be a loyal fan. Well, that's one quality of a wife I'm looking for, so we gotta stick together, Maria. Eddie B at Eddie B writes, The Eric Show. Great show. Now do more Tom DeLong. Eric D'Alessandro is funny and deserves a show on MTV. Hashtag The Eric Show. All right, Eddie, I'll do it for you because you like them. But anybody else, if you don't really know who Tom DeLong is, just the guy from Blink-182, and he sounds funny live. But you know, I miss you. goes... Where are you? And I'm so sorry. I cannot sleep. I cannot dream tonight. I need somebody at all. Brendan at Brendan Ribba or Riba writes, Eric D'Alessandro, you seriously have the funniest videos on YouTube. Thanks, Brandon. I'm sorry I destroyed your name. Jamie Joustra or Goostra, I'm pretty sure that's Joustra writes, Eric D'Alessandro, please have my babies. If I could have your babies, I would. I mean, do you want to have my babies? Maybe we could because if you want to have mine, we could work something out. As long as you're 18. Emily at Emily Marie 1316 writes, Eric D'Alessandro, I want to be in your next video. Hashtag pretty please. E Hashtag the Eric Show. Emily, you're on the show. Jimmy DeMarco at Jimmy Fly 81 writes, Eric D'Alessandro, dude, your videos make my day. But growing up, were you always this funny? Thank you, Jim. I'm glad you liked them. And uh, growing up, I think I, I was, I think I was, I think I was funnier when I was growing up because I had the same exact sense of humor and it was coming out of a six year old. So I think my laughs have only gone downhill from there, so... But yeah, I think, I think so. Maria at XOMaria97 writes... Oh my god, if you were born in 97, I feel horribly old. I remember that, since Stone Cold won the Royal Rumble. Anyway, she writes, Eric D'Alessandro, while I hope you see this, I love you, Eric. I want to be in your video. Plus, I have a question. How old are you? Well, Maria, thank you very much. I really appreciate that. I'm happy that you wanted to be in the video, because now you are. And I was born on January 11th. 1990. I'm 22 years old. Unfortunately, I bet you thought I was younger than that. Maybe I would have, you know, been a little further in, in life at this point. But no, just a loser at home. Thanks for reminding me, Maria. Yasmin Rico at Yasmin Love underscore 199 writes, Eric D'Alessandro, love the new episode. What happened to your mom after all? Haha. <laughs> well, uh, thanks, Yasmin. I'm glad you uh, liked the episode. My mom died. <laughs> uh, but seriously, she's dead. Paulina at Hey Nina, she writes, Eric D'Alessandro, hashtag The Eric Show, who is your favorite rapper slash artist? Please answer, does por favor dance? Por, por favor. My favorite rapper of all time is Eminem, but a very, 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 very close second is Drake. Okay, Alexa, at Alexa Teresa, she also mentions Anthony underscore Vark, or Varch, I'm gonna say Varch, it's probably wrong, but it's more fun than Vark. Writes, if Eric D'Alessandro doesn't get famous soon, I'm committing the sickest murder to make room for a kid that deserves this fame. Well, thank you, Alexa. I really appreciate it. That's a very nice thing, kind of. Um, you probably shouldn't... Eh, yeah, fuck. You know what? Kill anybody you want. Janine Abdel at XOJanineOX writes, I tweet Eric D'Alessandro so often but have yet to be on The Eric Show with a couple of sad emoji faces. Hashtag determined to be on. Well, Janine, that day has come. Thanks for tweeting me. Bianca, at Bianca Loves Jew, <laughs> I don't know if you're Jewish or you just have a thing for Hebrew guys, but she writes, Eric D'Alessandro, if you do a shout out on my birthday, it's the 26th, it'll be the best birthday present ever, hashtag The Eric Show. Well, Bianca, today is the 26th. Happy, happy birthday from all of us <laughs> at The Eric Show. We should do like the, like Applebee's. It's your birthday, it's your birthday, it's like, oh, oh. Now, how miserable do those people always look? Happy birthday, Bianca. I love Jew. Mia Tunchi. 
at Mia Maz 24 writes, can never listen to Sleepyhead by Passion Pit without picturing the dance. Oh my god. Eric D'Alessandro, please do the dance for me in your next show. If you don't know what she's talking about, um, that's funny that you remember that. I was, I did this Fuck You Facebook hour like a year and a half ago on Facebook. Anybody, whoever's Facebook friends with me, they saw these videos I put up. And I just did a funny dance um, to the song Sleepyhead by Passion Pit. All right, Mia, you asked for it. Okay, so the idea is like being out in a club or something, and there's one guy who can't control his leg because this song just overpowers him. So he'll be at the bar or something. <laughs> I want to thank you all for your tweets and your comments. I appreciate them very much. Let's keep this going. You can keep. You can tweet me anytime. I don't know why I'm speaking into this. This microphone doesn't work. Tweet me things you want to see more of, things you want me to talk about, uh, sketches to do, anything. You can tweet me whatever. I'm open to suggestions. Please join us next week for more Eric Show. Gotta go.